Mike Mulligan, uh, the Labrador Current and uh, Gulfstream, uh, associated with Millstone shutdown in 2012. So the Gulfstream uh, climbs up uh, the eastern coast of Florida and goes uh, up to uh, northern Virginia and then cuts up, cuts away from the United States and goes north eastward uh, out to the mid mostly to the mid Atlantic and, and towards Europe that's what keeps that's what keeps the, uh, Europe warm and stuff and, and uh, uh, in 2010 the end of 2010 and and, and, and 2011 um, they discovered an anom anomaly with uh, the Gulf current it had moved uh, 125 miles uh, when it, you know, when it when it cut away from uh, Virginia and uh, it it, it, uh, uh, it it moved uh, 125 miles and more more north of its normal position. Uh, it was 125 miles closer to Millstone uh, and that type of stuff. And so, uh, I mean, that, that's that's an interesting, uh, that's fascinating. Uh, why that happened and, and stuff like that and so the, the normal global global warming uh, um, calculations of what uh, computer models uh, talk about a collapse of the thermal uh, hailing uh, um, circulation on the planet or, or from the from the um, Arctic uh, and stuff and so you know well uh, you know I, Maybe that in the end it will happen, but uh, certainly uh, not in the beginning. My th my theory. Wh why doesn't the uh, Gulf Stream get juiced up? You know, it's a heat engine. You know, and it's hot dirt near the equ equator, and it's getting hotter uh, and, and stuff like that. The temperatures are getting hotter, and uh, yeah, you know, the Ar Arctic uh, as a whole is uh, really not, not, hasn't changed that much. Uh, and stuff there's still a lot of ice up there and so it's just a heat engine it's just a diff it's a, it, it's the engine is the difference between temperature and of course the equator is a lot uh, a lot more surface area than uh, than the, the narrow arctic area is and uh, there's, there's more uh, open ocean okay and, and less ice and stuff like that so why isn't the why isn't the uh, 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 why isn't the ice uh, a uh, insulation uh, type of thing with the ocean. Uh, uh, so why isn't the ice? You know, why the open ocean is a lot of wave action and uh, and, and churning uh, and stuff. And so what? Why is it that 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 that's the stuff that creates a lot of uh, you know that transfer uh, cold into the into the ocean and stuff. So that that temperature difference, uh, the cold ocean uh, um, settles down and it comes back. Towards the equator and uh, hotter water juice, you know, uh, ju ju uh, juices up the flow of the uh, Gulf Stream and stuff like that. So why isn't the Gulf Stream in, in, uh, increasing? Why isn't the Gulf Stream intensifying the flow and the capacity of the heat uh, and, and stuff? Uh, most astonishing is why isn't uh, why aren't we why, aren't, why isn't a part of the uh, government paying attention to the Gulf Stream? Why, why don't we uh, know on a, uh, on a website? Uh, we can watch this on a right now uh, or in the hysteric, uh, historical uh, uh, data and stuff like that. Uh, the conditions of the uh, of the uh, uh, Gulf Stream. Uh, a lot of these environmental people they all use the Gulf Stream for their own agenda and stuff like that. And, and, and there's really not a lot of interest uh, of watching what's going on in, in the Gulf Stream. Not, not a lot of money when it gets down to it. But why isn't the government? And, uh, Involved in it, uh, watching this. Uh, why isn't the government involved with the Labrador Current and uh, watching that? And so, as this ocean sw um, swings away from the United States and heads out in, in an eastward direction towards Europe, basically, uh, um, the Labrador Current comes in from Newfoundland, Newfoundland and and, uh, and it streams down uh, past Greenland into into uh, a couple different ways, channels and. The wider ocean in, into uh, northern New England, to, and near the uh, Gulf of uh, Gulf, Gulf of uh, 
a main, uh, Gulf of Maine, and stuff. So that, I mean, there's a whole tongue of ocean of cold water uh, on the surface that comes down and basically swings by all the, the coast of uh, New England uh, on the western. I mean, on the coast of New England, uh, you know, New Hampshire, uh, Boston, uh, swings by the Staten Island and stuff like that, and it goes all the way down to where that. Uh, Gulf Stream uh, starts swinging away from America. There's a whole ton of cold water that uh, 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 sits on top of the ocean and it swings by all our coast. And it's that cold, it's this Labrador current that uh, really defines uh, the temperature of our water uh, and the reason why we've got really cold water compared to uh, everybody else, um, you know, in, uh, south of uh, Virginia and, and stuff. I mean, that, 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 uh, we don't create the cold water. Our winters don't create the cold water a little bit, but I, it's, the, it's, that, it's that flow of the Labrador, Labrador current. And like I've talked, to, talked to in the past, in, in the mid-1950s, uh, I'd like to know what was going on on our planet, why, I mean, on why this happened, but uh, a lot of the fishermen talk about it. Um, the uh, Labrador current uh, pinched off uh, and stuff, and, and and they all complain about the shrimp uh, market uh, all collapsed uh, in, in, off, uh, in Maine, off the coast of Maine, and a lot of different kind of fish disappeared, and uh, they were whining and crying about that they're uh, not catching any fish, and, and it, it, it was astonishing the reduction of uh, uh, fish that they were catching, uh, and the assortment of fish they were catching and stuff, and it imprinted in their heads, it was a big deal. It was a drastic, a quick change, and, and stuff like that. And this, it was blamed on the, uh, the laboratory current uh, slowing down for some reason. Um, uh, recently, uh, off the coast of New Hampshire, there's a lot of fishing reports about uh, you know the same type of thing. You know, uh, off Maine, uh, the shrimp markets collapsed. Uh, a lot of fishing has collapsed. Uh, you know. You know uh, uh, Bottom fish, fish, fishing, the fish collapsed, and, and all that sort of stuff. There was a uh, one of the main newspapers had a uh, guy in the Gulf of Maine uh, diving in uh, 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 late September uh, and stuff, and he was talking about unprecedented, shocking levels of hot water in, in the Gulf of Maine. And you know, from the surface all on down to like a uh, um, 100 feet, uh, 180 feet, and shocking. Uh, change uh, hot water down there, uh, 20 degrees uh, higher than, uh, than normal for that time of year and stuff. I think they've used it, it, it a little bit last year, but this this year, you know, it's a shocking change of the temperature of uh, uh, the Gulf of Maine and stuff. I don't know if it's uh, kept up and stuff. And so, you know, what, what's going on here? What, what you know, uh, um, so why can't the, uh, you know, my theory is that the, uh, the Gulf, uh, the, uh, uh, Gulf Stream is. Did you ever, I used to go to the Gulf Stream on a submarine. It was, a, uh, it was a underwater, and it was an amazing. You'd be sitting there, and it'd be really cold water, you know, forties uh, and fifties, and bam, you'd be in eighty degree water pretty damn quick, you know, with, with, within a couple of minutes. It was kind of amazing to, to see uh, to see that big wall uh, to go through that big, pierce that big wall of hot water in, on a submarine underwater and, and stuff and. Uh, uh, and then I'd go back on the other side where it get cold real fast, or in, in, in go, you know, uh, coming out of ports, go, you know, coming out of ports, going, going way up north, uh, hitting that hot water and stuff like that. It was an amazing, amazing sight. So, in, anyways, what's happening? So, why isn't the uh, well, maybe the uh, Gulf Stream is uh, getting juiced up? You know the. Uh, it's crowding out the Labrador current. The Labrador current, for its own reasons, is, is weakening uh, or going in a d different direction. And uh, because of the uh, um, uh, uh, air oscillations, uh, the, the big air system oscillations and stuff like that, uh, um, the uh, Labrador current is uh, is slowed down or stopped, and, what, and, and it's causing the Gulf Stream to uh, push up north and, and uh, slide more towards uh, the, the continental shelf and, and stuff and, and uh, go into uh, 
you know, in the bays and stuff like that. And certainly within the Long Island Sound. Why, why isn't that? And, you know, the, the outcome of this is, what if this, what if this is, uh, uh, is triumphing, triumphing, a, a drastic change in New England? Yeah, I mean, imagine, imagine the outcome of, say, um, a lot of the water uh, off our coast uh, go up 10 degrees, uh, uh, 20 degrees, uh, maybe even 30 degrees, uh, in a, in a drastic change and stuff like that. What, what would be the economic outfalls of that be? It'd be drastic. Uh, would property values change? Uh, you know, uh, who knows? Uh, would would uh, we, we would? It'd be a drastic drastic shift uh, of fishing, of uh, of, of uh, sports fishing, uh, uh, of um, you know, uh, uh, all the power plants. Uh, I can't, I can't, I can't think of that. I mean, it'd be drastic. Think of the Long Island Sound. All of a sudden, we find out that uh, it was a Gulf Stream that was uh, coming in and out with the tides and, and warming up uh, all of Long Island Sound, basically, and, and, and that type of thing. And it really wasn't had nothing, very little to do with the weather. And, and, and it was really this Labrador current that uh, is drying up. Uh, I think that's the big motivator of all of our cool temperatures uh, in New England is the Labrador Current. And that Labrador Current, I told you, comes right down to the, it goes right down on the coast and it snakes right down to the uh, Gulf Stream and, that, and that's where it stops uh, or it, it gets diluted and stuff. And so, you know, uh, that's what, um, I mean, you know, uh, it, it would be drastic changes uh, if, uh, you know, from uh, Virginia to uh, uh, New Jersey, uh, you know, well, uh, New York, uh, Long Island, uh, Connecticut, and uh, up through Massachusetts, and you know, throughout Maine and stuff like that. Uh, uh, what if it? What if we had a shift, a great shift of the uh, Gulf Stream? I, mean, I think that's what we might be watching right now. Um, uh, I t I s so we're having um, uh, fishing issues uh, like we had in the 1950s uh, in the Gulf of Maine and uh, shrimping issues uh, like the Gulf of Maine. Uh, we're seeing in, in the last, uh, within the last decade, a lot of uh, Gulf Stream fish coming up and uh, uh, being in waters uh, in, inside, uh, Lo inside Long Island Sound, being caught off, so uh, being caught on the southern side of uh, Long Island Sound in uh, New Jersey and stuff like that. We're seeing uh, uh, fish and animals that, you know, we would, uh, we would, see, would see in Georgia. Uh, what if our uh, ocean temperature from, uh, jumped up to, uh, you know, Georgia temperature uh, for most of the year? Uh, um, that would have a drastic uh, change on our climate. Uh, in, 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 uh, in the area, it would you know these atmospheric oscillations and high pressure systems and uh, Arctic high pressure uh, Arctic systems, and it would fiddle around with all that sort of stuff, and it would shift around the wind patterns, and it would shift around the um, jet stream and, and stuff like that. It, you know, we, we, uh, it, it, uh, it, I believe this uh, shift in the Gulf Stream would drastically uh, change. Our weather patterns also, and then you look out towards Europe. Like, right? where's that Gulf Stream going? Is I hope it still uh, flows off the coast of uh, Europe uh, and stuff like that. So, I, I think that's what's happening, and I think that's uh, you know. And what, what's that pretend for Millstone? Will will uh, will Millstone? Will we keep ramping up the Gulf Stream? Uh, Gulf uh, the Long Island Sound uh, be heated up by the Gulf Stream more and more and. Uh, uh, really, that's what's going on here, and everybody doesn't realize what, what's going on. And uh, w we'll uh, jump up a couple of degrees uh, next year, and a couple more d degrees next year, maybe five degrees, uh, and the year after, and stuff. And uh, you think about our lives, how, how they'll, uh, they'll change in, in New England uh, if that happens. And uh, if uh, th this uh, 1950s business was a precursor of what was going to happen as uh, as uh, as um, uh, the effects of global warming uh, are touching us all, and so I, 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 I think that's that's what's going on with what's causing uh, millstone. And like I said, uh, millstone is going to be uh, 
uh, shut down uh, more and more and longer and longer periods, uh, probably two plants down at a time. Probably we're talking about the disruption of the millstone facility, it not being 